Verify viewers know that before you share, you verify. We got tagged in this Instagram post right here, which claims that a new Maryland abortion bill would, quote, allow babies to be killed up to 28 days after birth. So let's verify, is that true? Here are sources, Dr. Priya Rajan from Northwestern, Maryland State Delegate Nicole Williams, and the bill itself. The claim center is around one line in the original bill, which says that someone can't be investigated or penalized for, quote, experiencing perinatal death related to a failure to act. Now, perinatal refers to the time period just before birth to the time just after. And depending on who you ask, that period can end seven days or 28 days after birth. Critics say that this provision legalizes all newborn deaths, including intentional ones. The House bill's sponsor says that was not the intent of this bill. This bill in no way, shape, or form would allow individuals to kill babies. That's called homicide. So we went to Dr. Rajan for context. She says the bill's to protect families from legal action in very rare, very difficult circumstances. For instance, someone has an extremely preterm birth, say at 20 weeks gestation, and that infant is born with a heartbeat, but really has no meaningful chance of survival down the road, or it would require extreme interventions. And a family may say, if there's a very high chance that it might pass away, I don't want the time that this child has on earth to be full of suffering in that way. Delegate Williams says that she has since introduced an amendment to try and make this more clear. So we can verify that this claim is misleading. The bill does not allow people to kill babies, although it does give families legal protection in certain rare and complex situations. And we should note, this bill is extremely unlikely to pass this year. Neither the House nor the Senate version of this bill has been voted out of committee. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov.